So in this tutorial, we're going to go over the two areas that I brushed over in the previous videos. One was this free under outline and the other was the landscape under fill. So if we go to the free under outline, I've drug out this circle and made the outline a little thicker so we can see how it works. If I choose free, you'll notice that a chunk is taken out of this um, outline of this object. So now what we could do is change the fill to none and now we have a line that we can manipulate the points so we can create uh, different shapes using this line. Now the difference between doing this and the only difference between doing this and for example dragging this line primitive out is that this just has two points versus the other has more points. You can still double click and add points into either one of these but uh, I would say it's just easier to drag out this primitive. It's cleaner than trying to create a line from these various um, other primitives. So let's just go ahead select this and delete it and we'll work with this line. Now th using this line it's going to bring us to our next part which is the um, landscape. So uh, going to fill and landscape basically drops this uh, kind of color from the bottom of this line. Now what would we use landscape for? Well it's named just for that reason landscape that we would use it to build our train or landscape to create our backgrounds in our world or even to create uh, platforms that are objects or creatures or whatever they may be um, uh, which would allow them uh, we would allow them to interact with that that landscape so mm, there's only a few things uh, that uh, are available under landscape one is this landscape depth of course we have our colors the color is the highlighted color or the color at the top and this next color is the color at the bottom. If we wanted to make this flat all we would need to do is just make these two colors the same color. Now the bottom depth just uh, basically controls how far down um, this this bottom line goes. Uh, the second part is um, not as straightforward and we're not really going to cover it. All you need to know that it's basically a uh, a value between 0 and 1 and this value affects the outline texturing so it's really pretty much how the texture wraps in regards to how this uh, terrain or landscape is shaped. We're really not going to cover that right now because this is a beginner's tutorial but just know that this has to do with how uh, the the texture of this outline wraps around this landscape. And um, another thing to remember is we don't have to have this thick outline here. Remember you can turn that off so now you would not have that uh, there so it, it wouldn't have to have this thick kind of cell shaded uh, look on, on top of the terrain. Another thing to remember is that um, these two points you can it's very easy to get them mixed up and if you for example grab this point and brought it over here and this over here everything will look fine but once you click off and try to select this um, landscape again you won't be able to and this is because you've gotten your points uh, reversed so all you would need to do if you can't suddenly select this object is go back down to this line in our hierarchy and drag your points back so now if I click off I can select it again uh, another thing that you can do since this is just a rage spline you can select these points I'll just make this screen larger by clicking uh, our space bar is you can select a point hit N and you can straighten these uh, these corners off so when I do straighten them off we can see the the edges of our train now look nicer than um, this kind of curve that we have so again I'll do that same thing over here uh, move this here now remember that this is a, a rage spline so just because we have uh, two points doesn't mean we can only uh, we have to use these two points we can just double click uh, here and it will add another point and we can create you know uh, nice hills uh, we can create like more peak 
peaked areas and again we can um, select that and hit N and we can even create these more uh, sharper peaks. So that is pretty much um, all there is to uh, worry about when using our landscape. So in our next video we will go over, skip over a texturing for the moment, we will come back to texturing um, and then we're, but for right now we're going to go into physics.